hi everyone this is anil here from informatica support uh, today i am going to give you a demo on how to configure the active os uh, server uh, by running the config deploy script so the agenda of this video presentation is uh, uh, how what is the config deploy script and uh, how to run the config deploy and uh, i will give you a demo on how to uh, run it so what is config deploy script actually so when we install the active os server so it just generate this uh, config deploy uh, script inside our uh, installation directory and this config deploy script is responsible for deploying all the resources to the server so when i'm saying resources what i mean to say is uh, data sources gndi deploying the active os uh, er file and the war file and creating the uh, jdbc connection and uh, creating the security RLM into the server so all these things are done by this config deploy script so how to run this script this is uh, this script uh, when you install in the uh, linux or in the windows so it is uh, uh, there uh, in the form of config underscore deploy dot sh or bat you just have to uh, double uh, du double click on the script and it will run it in case of windows so let me give you a demo how to do this So this is my ActiveOS installation directory, uh, this ActiveOS server, server enterprise and I'll go to the WebSphere config. Uh, in my case, I'm using WebSphere uh, server. So it will create WebSphere config uh, directory and I go to the bin and here I can see that I have config deploy script here. So what it will do, it will just uh, deploy all the resources like I can see inside the deploy that I have ActiveOS Central and ActiveOS War are there. It will deploy these two files to the server. So let me run this file. So in my configuration options, I have four options here. Uh, so this option will tell you what all the resources you just want to configure. So I just want to configure ActiveOS Server, Central, uh, resources and deploy application and resources so I have checked all if it is my first installation click next so you have to choose what are what is the database that you are using so these values will be default populated here what is the uh, GNDI you are creating and uh, worker manager uh, GNDI and time manager GNDI so in case of web Spare, it will uh, uh, populate this thing I'll click next and I have to keep it default I can just uh, click, click this option and just uh, select this option uh, but the, uh, this will be application applicable in case of cluster environment I'll click next and this option I will check when I have a jazz user created in the WebSphere console I can go next so this is the security configuration option so where you just say what are all the options uh, what are all the resources you just want to secure in the um, uh, in the in the active was server so in my case i'm just checking this uh, administrative function that means one when when i log into the active was console it will be secured i'll click next so these are the default values for the um, uh, for the server configuration i can just tweak it as per my requirement i can just increase the maximum maximum or minimum threads and number of alarm threads click next uh, this thread uh, minimum threads you can just increase so this is the session timeout you have defined for uh, active os central application so uh, this host and the port number you have to change as per uh, you have in your environment I'll click next so this deployment option will give you what all uh, things you just want to deploy uh, if ActiveOS the database is not already installed so you have to click this option install application and resources ActiveOS server console and ActiveOS central these two last options are mandatory if you are uh, installing first time click next so this is the J uh, database configuration here so uh, you have to give the driver class in case of oracle uh, uh, it is this and uh, a driver url 
uh, and the database name should be the SID name or name of the your database so uh, in 9 to 4 one, one version of the active was you have to use ojdbc 7.jar in oracle so this is the uh, username and the password for the active was data, uh, database schema that you have created and uh, if you just want to validate this uh, connection if it is uh, valid or not you have to check this option click next and it will give you message uh, that database connection is successful that means all the parameters provided here are valid so this is the application server information uh, in case of uh, jboss or weblogic and uh, um, websphere it will ask you for the path so this is the path for uh, web, uh, websphere and the host of the your uh, application server so in case of websphere it will ask you this websphere port so this port is nothing but it is the so port so port of your application server so if 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 you have the dmgr in 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 your application in your web server do you have to give the dmgr so port instead of the server so port and admin uh, this username and password are the username and password of your uh, web server application server and this deployment target whether you want to deploy to the server or cluster and followed by you have to give the either you have to give the cluster name or server name i'll click next i can click on show details and click on install so it will uh, start installing all the resources and you know deploying the all the er file and the war file uh, to the server and deploying uh, uh, installing the database creating the uh, gndi or uh, data source connections and all so if you just want to uh, see this all the information in the log so you have to go to the same place and there is a log directory inside this you can see the log file install.log is there you can just open this file and all the information you can get here so i'll just wait for this uh, uh, script uh, script to finish uh, this script will take around uh, three to four minutes to complete to deploy all the research resources so we can see in the logs that it is installing all the timer manager and started the application uh, so uh, application in the server so now my script is uh, done and it is give you a message finished I can see that it is giving build successful so I will exit this and I can just go to the websphere console and see uh, all the applications are deployed or not I will log into the web console click on the applications so here I can see that the ActiveOS central and the ActiveOS war file are deployed I can just go to the resources GDBC and data sources and I will check that active all data source is created so this config deploy script comes uh, handy when you are uh, you know uh, uh, installing active was with MDM and you are on cluster environment so you can if there is some issue with the uh, uh, deploying active was uh, now while running the post install you can just run the config deploy script so this is pretty much from the demo side and we would like to hear uh, feedback from your side and you can write us to support videos at informatica.com and twitter.com slash info support. Thank you very much. Bye.